Okay, what we have here is we have Prometheus downloaded into the program. And uh, you can notice why it's an awfully large object. Uh, I'm using it to kind of display what the uh, what their software, the XYZ, uh, where software will do because you know it was one uh, project that gave me a lot of problems. It broke the glass. Okay, uh, we can rotate the project, and uh, that's probably something should I should have done to get it off that big base, and uh, just kind of quickly. What I'll do is uh, bring it to 90 degrees. So you can see um, that's on the x-axis let's come back on the y-axis let's bring it to 90 degrees oops hit the wrong one 90 degrees okay uh, and that probably would have been the long the way I should have built it um, it's you know it's kind of a thing or I should have altered the base so the base wasn't solid and we can alter on the z-axis we can scale a project um, and we could scale in inches let me just shift it all right now I'm out of too big for it to fit in the machine and that's an interesting feature also that it will tell you if you're too big to fit in the machine now right, let's get this thing ready for printing okay Oh, before we do that, let's take a look at views. We can view it. We can do a view, a top view, bottom view. Okay, and you can see that big, large area that was cooking on the machine for uh, about 10 hours, which is about the amount of time it took to build the project. Uh, left, right, you know, it just the, the normal kind of positioning uh, of a piece. So get ready, uh, get Prometheus ready uh, for printing. Uh, what I decided to do is uh, I closed the program, restarted the program, brought Prometheus back in so that you could actually see him physically uh, the size that he was in relationship to the printing bed of the machine. So you can see just how huge the statue is. Uh, I built it without support. Um, and again, the big problem was that base really cooking down here. Uh, and without support did cause one problem in the construction his hand over here that you see hanging over here because it wasn't supported the machine uh, was trying to start building in that area in thin air and the hand uh, is kind of not completely there it's interesting that most of the hand most of the arm is there uh, almost right down to um, the the palm of the machine and how it actually did that I have absolutely no idea I would have thought he would have looked more like and I felt it was fine because he looks like most of the uh, sculptures out there uh, with broken parts missing pieces and so forth um, so we want to get this ready for printing and and see the different possibilities okay so I'm gonna click on print and uh, what you see here, the dialog box you see here, this is the same box for uh, all three uh, of the Da Vinci uh, machines that are this physical size. So that's the 1.0, the 2.0, the 1.0 AIO, uh, and that's all of them. And uh, over here you see it's labeled to print with the Da Vinci 1.0, and it's got those over there if you click down you'll see uh, you'll see the other machines okay um, now uh, we could uh, add support okay and it's showing it over there we can uh, change our quality from normal good to excellent and I actually um, since this was going to be my souvenir for our Greek trip did it in excellent which even made it take longer to uh, print and uh, left that base burn, you know, roasting uh, on the glass plate even longer. And auto repair. And auto repair is the reason why that uh, somehow that hand uh, eventually did end up, uh, the arm all the way down to the hand did end up actually being built. And there are advanced settings. We can click on that. Uh, and the advanced settings will give us what we want as far as our density, the shell, the layer height. And on layer height, you'll see we can go from one to four, something I mentioned in the other video. 
and the speed of building and uh, okay and so let's go back and um, if we add support you'll see what it looks like with support um, when it goes to actually start building so we're gonna we're gonna let that start at that particular point um, just to see so you can see what happens um, so I'm going to now click print uh, to go uh, up to this point, uh, you nearly need to have the uh, machine plugged in and the machine turned on, because it's looking for the machine for to uh, to have start having dialogue. If um, if the object is going to uh, become too large, oh well, not too large, but if the object is going to use need more plastic than is actually uh, in the machine, if there's not enough filament it will not allow you to start printing. You also can't uh, change the uh, filament cartridge in the middle of a print. You notice it is now slicing the object and this is going to take uh, a couple of minutes and so uh, I'm going to pause the video. We're now at five minutes and 40 seconds and I'm going to see if I can't come close to and I'm going to cut down so you're not watching too long. Finished uh, and right now the cut uh, right now you can see the estimated time for the build is eight hours one minute remember uh, I said ten hours and that has to do with uh, the uh, the fact that I was printing on the highest quality settings uh, and you'll notice the uh, estimate usage uh, of the cartridge and it is a new cartridge so you can see, um, and of course, notice it says cartridge one. The reason for that is because the 2.0 machine has two fusers, um, and so it, has, it runs two cartridges uh, with, so you can run two different color plastics at the same time. Okay, and I'm given uh, the op the option of saving and canceling or printing, and I'm going to save and cancel. Okay, and uh, what I want to do is drop this down so you can see that um, by adding support in this case the entire object is now shrouded in support and that has a lot to do with how much plastic is actually being used we could be certain that if I built it this way that hand would have uh, would have you know survived nicely if um, but again uh, building this object the correct way to build it would have been on its side not on that super large flat base or to have gone in and altered the base and make it so that part of that base was hollowed out uh, either way it would have made it uh, where it was less likely to break the glass so I can't completely blame them for the fact that the glass broke uh, the only thing that I kind of felt was it would have been nice if the heating element was separate from the glass. It would also be nice, and I think uh, one of the, again, a feature I didn't like about the machine, if you were able to remove the build plate. Uh, remove, ability to remove the build plate will give you a chance to actually clean it on the outside, start another project by having more than one plate uh, almost instantly, if that's what you want to do, and so forth. Okay. Uh, I am not going to bother saving this, so I'm going to drop, I'm going to, let me just bring this in here, I'm going to cancel the save. But at this point in time, you'll notice we've lost these controls, and to get those controls back, we would have to start all over again. Next thing I want to show you is how you can actually build a number of items on the, on this, on this same build platform at the same time. Um, the advantage of doing that is obviously you're building a number of things at the same time. The disadvantage, if one of them gets into trouble, uh, you need, would need to actually cancel the building of all of them. Uh, and so, you know, that's kind of a catch-22. Okay, so let's start the program. That's my book. I'm showing up on the screen. And let's bring uh, an object into it.
Okay, let's bring another one of the same object in. You notice that as far as the same object, it automatically moved and shifted the object so the two of them could fit together. Let's see if we can actually fit another one of the same object in. And you can see we could actually fit a, uh, a fourth. Well, why not? Let's go for it. And you can see we've actually brought in four of the same object to build, and, and that would be a, a great way if you're getting involved with a small little um, manufacturing or you're making your own chess set and uh, you want to do the pawns uh, or you know any of the other pieces that there are a number of them. Um, and, of course, if you have the 2.0, you could actually at the same time um, build, if you're doing a chess set, you could build one in one color, uh, the pieces do the pieces in one color, and the other do the pieces in the, uh, in the other color. The last thing I wanted to show you about the XYZ wear software, remember you can't design an object in this, you can only slice to build and change size, rotate, and do the things that I've already shown you. I have over here, uh, I brought in another object, another Greek um, statue. And I'm going to rotate it on, on the z-axis, just so you can see just how vulnerable it is as far as the uh, piece. It definitely needs support. Now, uh, what I showed you a moment ago was the fact that you can bring in a number of, of objects at the same time, and they'll automatically move over. That is the same object. If it's the same object that you're building, it'll automatically be shifted over. But what we want to do is we want to import this. And uh, this is, uh, was from AutoCAD. The download was from AutoCAD 1, 2, 3 uh, design. Um, it was one of the things that they had in STL design uh, that I brought in. And I used MeshMaker to add support and MeshMaker gives you, you know, it does a, a much nicer job than this program. And again, saved it back into SDL to uh, be able to um, now I'm going to just bring it in and let's see what takes place. Okay, you notice that it did not move one object away for the other object to come in. So to uh, build more than one object that when the objects are not identical, what you would need to do is you would need to actually um, move the object, the first object you built, so that it's out of the way of the object that you're bringing in over here and I did this to be a little comical as we have a Greek tragedy. Okay. And what I now want to do to bring in the second object it's necessary for me to move the object I should probably move it forward so you'll be able to see the difference better between the two. And now let's import the object without support.
and you notice that it falls smack in the middle. So if I didn't have the other one lying on its side, it basically what would have taken place uh, is they um, they would have just hit into each other in such a way that you wouldn't have been able to see them. That's why I brought I brought the one in with support lying on its side so that you could actually uh, almost see a Greek comedy or Greek tragedy um, of a broken statue lying in other, against another statue. But the main thing here is you can see support has been added to give support to these two arms, but it hasn't gone crazy um, that if I was to use this software, um, I would basically have uh, the, uh, the statue completely enshrouded in plastic. And again, the more plastic you use, since um, the plastic comes in a canister that you can, in a sense, only buy from them, uh, the better it is for them as far as what they sell. And, and that's something you want to avoid. Um, okay, now that really takes care of uh, what the software is capable of doing. And uh, I hope this was informative. Uh, again, uh, the machine uh, has got, it does an excellent job uh, for what it does. It's definitely aimed at the consumer marketplace for um, the huge number of families that will decide this is something that their children will want to be able to do in the home. And uh, neither parent has uh, the the will or desire to uh, learn how to use complex software they want. The goal is to bring in uh, to projects uh, that other people have designed and get maybe get their kids interested in doing their own designs. And of course, uh, in that case, probably the best machine to get is the one with the built-in scanner since it's almost the same price, you, you know, under $800 with a scanner is an unbelievable price when some of the many of these companies with machines that are much smaller are selling for thousands. Thank you. I hope this was informative.